Harry Kane to Manchester United. Transfer rumours are nothing new, but in the last two weeks, there's been a lot of noise around Kane and a potential £200 million move from Spurs to United. But what is the full story? Where did the story begin? Is there any truth to it? What do Spurs fans think about the possibility of Kane leaving and joining United? I'm going to run through all of that in today's video and bring you bang up to date in terms of what's gone on with Kane. Make sure you subscribe down below if you're new. Let's talk about Harry Kane. So the story itself came because Harry Kane had an interview with Jamie Redknapp on Instagram where he was asked about his future, his long-term future at Spurs and whether he would spend his whole career there. And this was Harry Kane's answer. I ask this, this question a lot. Um, it's, it's one of them things, you know. I'm, I couldn't say yes, I couldn't say no. I, I love Spurs, I'd always love Spurs. But um, yeah, it's one of them things, you know. I've, I've always said if if I don't feel we're progressing as a team or going in, in the right direction, then um, I'm not someone to just stay there for for, for the sake of it. You know, I'm, I'm an ambitious player. I want to improve. I want to get better. I want to become one of the top, top players. So it all depends on kind of what happens as a team and how we progress as a team. So, um, yeah, it's, it's not a definite I'm going to stay there forever, but it's, it's, not a no, it's not a no either. Given there's no football at the moment, this story took over. Harry Kane is an intelligent man. He knows exactly what he is saying and he's leaving the door open. He's not, of course, he's not going to commit his entire career to the club. Nobody would really do that at any point in their career. So I don't really think anything that he said there is a massive lure for anybody else. But given that there's no football, the national press took hold of it and ran with it. And now the stories are continuing to gather pace. But it was all fueled from that interview. Gary Neville has had his say on whether Kane would be a good signing for United and Unsurprisingly, he would love to see United sign Kane. Who wouldn't? There are some signings that are almost like gold. They almost know that, you know, barring the ridiculous, which would be an injury, you just know they're going to work. Harry Kane is unbreakable uh, in the sense of his mentality. Uh, he'll always score goals. He'll always give 100% in training. He's completely reliable. He's a manager would want. And... I think what I would say is that for Manchester United, it would be a, it would be a perfect signing in terms of what they need. Um, they obviously have had Bruno Fernandes coming, who's done a great job. We've got Harry Maguire at the back. If they can get somebody up front who's got the presence of Harry, Harry Kane, then obviously it would be a, a fantastic spine. But it, I, I just think the last week or so, that speculation's come out of obviously the sort of Harry leaving the door ajar in that piece that he did with Jamie. I don't believe that was by mistake. I think he's a clever guy. I don't think he would make a mistake like that, to be honest with you. I think he will have felt let down by what happened at the club a couple of weeks ago. No United fan would say that Kane would be a bad signing. As Gary said there, he'd be perfect for United. He would suit United. His work rate, his quality, his ability to score goals from every position with every single part of his body. Kane would solve the problem that we've got up front of relying far too much on Marcus Rashford. But will it happen? I asked Flav from the Fighting Cock Spurs podcast what his opinion on these rumours was and whether there was any chance that Kane could actually leave Spurs this summer. This is what he had to say. And so I wouldn't I wouldn't hold too much um weight in, in, in these rumours for a couple of reasons. One, um he is under contract to 2024 and he's on big wages. So £200 million is about what you'd have to pay. Now, if someone came in with a bid that big, you'd have to look at it. You could, like, Spurs couldn't turn turn that down. You know, we couldn't, like, you can't just dismiss and, and slap away a £200 million bid. But that bid is never going to come. Like, how, how, what, no, there is no team in the world that can afford to pay it and stay within side financial fair play. Um, so there's that issue. <clears throat> The other issue is if you are going to spend that, if you are going to break FFP regulations to get him in, or are you going to stagger this cost, which would hamper your transfer um, targets and transfer plans for the next five years, if that's how you'd have to stagger the cost of the of the uh, of the, um, of the transfer, then you've got to think, well, is he really worth it? No, he's a great striker. He's the best striker that I've ever seen, obviously. He's probably the best striker that we've ever had behind Jimmy Greaves. Um but he's injury prone. Every season, he spends a month to six weeks out. This season, it's been it'll be two and a half months. Um, if the season hadn't been suspended, he wouldn't have returned. He was out pretty much uh, since I don't remember it was January, 
to January time, January, February maybe. Um, and to pay that kind of money, you need a striker that's going to be fit, he's, he's going to score you 30, 40 goals a season. And, and if I'm being honest, uh, Sam, is like if he wants to go for silverware, there's, there's no more guarantee of getting it than Man United than anywhere else. So I can't see it. There's nothing in it, I don't think, mate. Sorry. No, I think all the points there from Flav, cheers for that video, by the way, mate. I think they're all completely fair. 200 million would probably be the fair market price for Harry Kane. 26 going on 27, four years left on his contract, 20, 30 plus goals every season. He's one of the best out and out centre forwards in world football. So 200 million for a player on a four year contract in the peak of his age seems fair, but it's the risk versus reward. Would United really put that much money and maybe break FFP rules, maybe have to sell Pogba to fund it. I don't know how it would work. But we do that for a player who spends a large part of every season injured. It's, it will be a massive risk. You could point towards Ruvan Nistelrooy. We signed him a year later because of that cruciate ligament injury, I think he did. Then you've got Ru Van Persie, sorry, and, you know, another player who was a massive success despite his injury problems. But 200 million is a different ball game altogether. And there are a lot of questions that you need to ask as to whether this transfer would go ahead. Yvonne, who is the co-editor, fantastic co-editor on the People's Person website, make sure you go there for your latest United news if you haven't checked it out already. She went through and looked at the facts and the fiction about Kane to United, and there's plenty of questions that we need to ask. So let's run through them all now together. And the first question is the easiest. Would Kane leave Spurs? Now, as Gary Neville pointed out, he is an intelligent man. He knows exactly what he's saying. So to say something like that, which is open-ended, leaves room for the rumours to go there. If he wanted to shut them down this summer, he would have stopped it. And I'm sure he is embarrassed by Spurs furloughing staff. Liverpool fans were embarrassed and they forced their club to do a U-turn. Spurs did the exact same, but I don't think that's enough to force Kane out of the door. It's all about ambition and trophies and that is what will keep Kane at Spurs. And I've always said it for a long time, there will come a point where this Spurs team starts to get picked apart because the trophies aren't there. Pochettino left, Mourinho's come in, it's not really gone too well. So Kane's leaving the door open. But would Spurs sell? He is a hugely valuable player. I think Flav's estimate, everybody's estimate, 200 million sounds ridiculous, but I don't think it's far off it. If you think about it, four years left on his contract, 26 going on 27 in the absolute prime of his career and at a time when average players and their prices are getting absolutely inflated when you get a super player like Kane who comes onto the market their price is going to go absolutely astronomical and that's why I think 200 million seems a fair shout but would Spurs really sell their best player it would be basically closing closing the book on on the possibility I think of this Spurs team winning the league and maybe that did happen a few years ago when they came so close but fell short and now that Potch has gone, it's not going to happen. But would Spurs sell to a rival? Once upon a time, if United wanted a Spurs player, we'd go and get him. Dimitar Berbatov, Michael Carrick. Yes, please, both of them. But that time has passed where United came knocking. We just signed the player we wanted. That isn't the case with Kane. That isn't the case with Spurs anymore. They're a massively different team. And so are we. And again, I think it's a fair point by Flav when he says that moving to United is no guarantee of silverware either. It's not. City and Liverpool are so far ahead of everybody in the league that the league's just not a possibility at the moment. So to then focus on European trophies or domestic cups, they're going to be United's main goals for the moment anyway, until we can get back up towards that top level. So would Spurs sell? I think for 200 million, most teams would sell any player. Pretty much any team would sell any player. Would Kane leave? He's left the door open. But would Spurs sell to a Premier League rival I'm not sure. I mean, not with Kane, surely. I might be wrong, but let me know what you think about that in the comments below. And other questions that were raised there by Flav, I think, would you not pay that much, 200 million? You know, when you think about the signings we've made, we've spent a lot of money, and we've spent a lot of money badly. Recently, the last few signings, Bruno Fernandes, Aaron wan Harry Maguire, Dan James. The signings that we've made have been smart signings, Harry Maguire was massively overpriced, but it improved our defence. But 200 million? And in the current climate, you've got to think about what the impact of the coronavirus is going to have on the football transfer market. Is now the time really to be thinking about dropping 200 million on an individual player, given that there's a global crisis which has caused untold amounts of damage and change to every part of every economy, including football? 
maybe the transfer market will change and go down somewhat after the coronavirus. You can only guess at this stage, but maybe 200 million. And thinking, even thinking about that would be a foolish idea. And I suppose, would Kane join United over other clubs? That's got to be something you think about, because if Kane was available on the market, pretty much every club in world football want him. City are going to need a new striker. Aguero is getting old. They've got Gabriel Jesus, but they need someone else. Maybe he would go there. Liverpool don't really need a striker and probably wouldn't spend 200 million on Kane anyway. Real Madrid would absolutely love Harry Kane. And if it's trophies and silverware and the ambition that's really going to take him away from Spurs, then City and Real Madrid are both better poised for the big trophies than United at this current time. And it's nothing, it's no shame to admit that. It's just a stage where we're at. I think we're massively improving and getting better. We're still not at that level yet. So there's so many questions to ask when it comes to Harry Kane and the possibility, just the possibility of him moving to United. 200 million. Would he leave Spurs? Would Spurs sell? Would they sell to a rival? Would United pay that much? Let me know what you think about that, all of that in the comments below. But Kane to United, that's the full story of it and where it's come from in the last few weeks. For me, I do think that if football was going on, this wouldn't be as big a story as it is. And because there's no football, you kind of have to focus on what you've got. And that's Harry Kane talking about his future on an Instagram video. Would I like to sign Harry Kane? I don't think for 200 million I would. I would love Harry Kane, but I just know that those glass ankles would follow him to United and we'd be spent spending all of our time wishing that Kane was fit rather than banging in goals. And maybe I'd be wrong and maybe he'd just find his fitness for years at United and it'd be the best signing we ever make. But for 200 million, that wouldn't be a risk that I would personally be willing to take if I was a man splashing the cash. But let me know what you think about Kane to United in the comments below. Would you spend that money even with the risk that comes with his injury record? Let me know in the comments below. Hope you're enjoying quarantine as much as you possibly can. Get out, do a bit of exercise. It does make a massive difference to your mental health and your mental position. But stay safe, stay indoors whenever you can. Protect lives and protect the NHS.